It is on. I wasn't talking about you. Today's the day, man. We're going to get some plants planted. Some fingernails. Or dirt in the fingernails. Look at that little Bessie Lou over there. I got her loaded down. Bye. That dog, I tell you what. He is loaded down. We got soil. We got mulch. We got a lot of empty containers. See what I got to deal with with that dog? She just wants attention. She gets plenty of attention, but it's never enough. Look at them two. They don't care. All right, guys. First thing I got to do is get my drill. Drill some holes in these new ones I picked up. And I'm going to put some of that mulch over there. The big, Maybe some of them logs in the bottom. And start emptying bags. All right, why? Why are you such a troublemaker, huh? I'm gonna build you a yard, okay? So you don't gotta be on that stupid cable, but you can't run free because there is a big 55 mile an hour highway there. But I'm gonna build you a yard. It has to be six foot high because you'll jump, won't you? Look there. Oh, uh, uh, you're silly. All right, let's get to work. Well, there's the pile. If uh, some of y'all remember the video I did where I was chopping up what was left of that pine tree, I uh, piled it all up here. And I've added hay from the chicken pen, uh, vegetables, old discarded vegetables, things like that, a little hodgepodge of everything. But I'll show you what it looks like now. I have been busy. Got all these filled with that stuff. Well, not filled, but to a, looks like halfway. But that'll all settle down. But man, you got some good, rich stuff, and that'll all eventually become soil. And got them all taken care of. I've already drilled the holes in the bottom there, about every eight inches or so. Now the fun part. Getting all this soil. I gotta get that mulch off the top. Start mixing up, mix a little manure in with some soil, but not too much. <laughs> Poor Lindsay. She works at the grocery store where I bought this, and uh, she said, Well, I'll help you load it. I bet she didn't know I was buying 20 bags of soil and 10 bags of mulch. But she helped me out, and I appreciated it. So I'm ready to start busting into this. I think I'm gonna take a, take a little short break and eat some lunch. And I'll show you what I got here. Oh, I got some onions in there. And I did plant a lot of seeds, but th these are some of the things I didn't have. I've got some more bell peppers because I never labeled mine, so I ain't sure what they are. Uh, I think some other kind of it's a black tomato. I don't know. And over here, I got some marigold. I also planted a lot of marigolds, but these already got flowers. And they're ready to go. I'm gonna put a marigold in with each tomato plant because they give the soil the nutrients and stuff that tomatoes like. They go good together. They attract the bees. And some more tomatoes there, a different variety that I didn't have. Those are Arkansas. Arkansas Travelers. I have planted these before and they were very good. So we're going to get them in the ground. Well, not in the ground. You know what I mean. Containers. Oh, guys, look at them trees back there. So once I get this garden done, I'm going to finish up with these pines out here, get these logs picked up, and then we're going to start on this screened in porch. I need to get this going before it gets too hot. And I'm not worried about these cedars over here. They're not in my way. I probably will cut that one up. It is kind of in my way. Uh, but we're going to get started on this very soon. But I've got to get these trees out of here first. Uh, i got to get this garden started. Hopefully I'll get some things planted today. And, uh, and get busy on that. All right.
Well, there's 20 bags. I'm going to need 12 more. Got these all filled. So they're taking two bags a piece, uh, eight 40 pound bags. That's 80 pounds for each container. Uh, and I still got to do that one there. And I might need, a, I'll probably get about 14. Did you notice how I was getting smarter <laughs> with the bags as I got further down the line? I was pulling, by the time I got to the end, I realized, well, hey, just pull them up next to it. You ain't hardly got to lift them. Duh, that's humans, man. We we should learn as we go how to make it. My brain's always process, processing ways to make things easier. So, yeah, as I got down here, I realized I can put the cart right next to it, use the cart to hold the weight and just dip, tip it over, and did the same thing with the truck, pulled it right underneath the tailgate, slid them right off. Uh, and I'm out of shape. Boy, am I out of shape, you know. When I was working at the ranch, I was picking up feed sacks and things like that. And you, the more you do it, the easier it gets, even with, you know, back problems or whatever. Uh, you figure out ways to do it, you know. And I had a golf cart there. I could, I hardly ever lifted anything. I set it up in the feed room where I could just pull up and slide it off the rack and load it up. But, yeah, and I noticed, man, I'm always out of breath in all my videos. <laughs> That's because I'm always doing this hard labor. All right, guys. I'm going to add just a little bit of manure to these. Not very much. This is actually pretty good looking. This is cheap soil. But it, it looks pretty good. I've got it in previous years. It was just terrible. But this I think I can work with. So, that stuff looks pretty good. I'd, I may not add anything right now. And just see how it does uh because you know we got that stuff in the bottom there, there's going to be nutrients in there it'll work its way up and there was a lot of worms in that stuff so i'm going to leave the manure out of it and i may come back and get a couple cupfuls or something and pour in here later but i'm gonna take a little rest i'm gonna start planting some of them and uh put a little mulch out I'm gonna need more mulch for sure i don't know we'll see so uh, let me uh, just end this video here. Uh, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it. If you subscribe, give me a like. If you don't like me, give me an unlike. I don't care. Anyway, the garden season has begun, folks. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.